there was a great uh, program about uh, Jewish soldiers during World War II and uh, their entry into Germany. It was it pretty was, good. It was really, really good. And they spent a lot of time in the concentration camps. She had lied about her age on her application to come to America because she didn't want her sister to be her legal guardian. And they were they were trying to convince her that she needed a uh, you know, legal guardian. And she's like, I survived the concentration camp. I think I can look after myself. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Linda, let me know when we're ready. At this time, we'll call to order the Board of County Commissioners meeting for the purpose of agenda review for next week's business session. Will the clerk please call the roll? Commissioner Schaefer? Here. Commissioner Allen? Here. Commissioner Klicka? Here. Commissioner Osterhaus? Here. Commissioner Ashcraft? Here. Commissioner Brown? Here. Chairman Eilert? Here. All are present. We do have a quorum. Would the clerk please read the proposed consent agenda items? Consider approving the March 29th, 2018 Business session minutes. Item number two, consider reappointing Dustin Calvin and Randy Hutchins as the sixth district representative to the Southwest Consolidated Zoning Board through March 13th, 2021. And item number three, consider authorizing the return of the Timber Wolf Estates treatment lagoon site to the former owners. Any questions? Uh on the con proposed consent agenda items. All right, they will stand as uh, read. Moving to the action agenda, item number four. Consider approving and transmitting the 10th Judicial's District State Physical Year 2019 Juvenile Justice Comprehensive Plan Grant application to the Kansas Department of Corrections Juvenile Services Division for renewal of grant funding in the total amount of $1,632,691.81 and authorizing the associated contracts for graduated sanctions programs. Mr. Sullivan, we have three items which are under your uh, observation, so uh, we'll start with item four. Good morning. Robert Sullivan, I'm here on behalf of the Department of Corrections. Um, the first item, the Juvenile Corrections um, Advisory Board approved back on March 9th uh, of this year. And uh, essentially what we're asking for is for the board to approve our comprehensive plan for our juvenile programming. Uh, this is something that's required to be in all 31 judicial districts in all 105 counties. Uh, what essentially you'd be approving is our graduated sanctions. That includes our juvenile case management which is uh, supervision for youth that are placed in out-of-home placement, foster homes and shelters, uh, juvenile intensive supervised probation, which is juvenile probation officers providing supervision for youth that are still living at home but are being supervised in the community, and then finally for our juvenile intake and assessment center. Our juvenile intake and assessment center serves those youth that are either child needed cares or have been committed an alleged juvenile offense and are brought to us by law enforcement. Solomon, as I recall, this is a uh, annual annual requirement or, or an annual application. Yes, sir. Is that right? That's correct. Questions? Mr. Glicka. Uh, Robert, I'm, I'm going to go a step further. All three of these items are the annual uh, request for the grants um, that are, has been pretty standard year after year. Is That's correct, sir. Okay. Thank you. Any other questions? All right. Remain on action or consent? Consent. Consent. All right, so noted. Next item. Item number five. Consider authorizing and submitting the Johnson County Department of Corrections SFY 2019 Community Corrections Comprehensive Plan and funding requests to the Kansas Department of Corrections as recommended by the Community Corrections Advisory Board in an amount not to exceed $2,349,000 $967.38 and the use of client reimbursement request in the amount of $891,000, $209.85. Thank you. 
Mr. Sullivan. Uh, again, this is an item that was approved by our Community Corrections Advisory Board on April 5th. Uh, this fund is used to provide community-based alternatives to incarceration for our felony population, specifically medium to high-risk population <coughs> would be our target population. Uh, this budget and plan would be for both our intensive supervised probation caseloads as well as our adult residential center. And again, this is a plan that we're required to do in all 31 judicial districts representing all 105 counties. Okay, questions? Consent. All right, consent. That's fine. So noted. Next item. Item number six. <clears throat> Consider authorizing submission of a grant application requesting continued justice reinvestment initiative, community corrections, behavioral health funds, for SFY 2019 in the amount of $168,603 from the Kansas Department of Corrections. Robert? This is, uh, unlike the other two that are required, this is optional. We've had it in place for several years now, though. Uh, it's our behavioral health grant. It's grants that are funds that we've applied for uh, to partner with our local mental health center to provide a forensics team that's embedded in our community corrections department to provide services for both intensive supervised probation as well as our adult residential center. And so this has been a, a very uh, beneficial collaboration between us and the mental health center. I think it's benefited both parties as well as the folks that we serve. And so uh, just we are asking to renew this and we're submitting uh, another application for this program. All right, questions? Again, consent? Yes. All right. Robert, thank you very much. Good thank job. You. Are there any other items? Yes, All right, that completes our agenda review. Uh, I should note that there will be two study sessions next week, one to receive from ETC, the Citizen Survey, and then the uh, Stormwater Strategic Plan update also will be received. So that uh, concludes our agenda review, and uh, in just a few minutes we'll uh, begin our executive our executive session. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Thank you. 1045. Then. 1045.